that was a close one. So Andrew and I are here to, to kind of give you a little presentation on how we make characters for the car stones. In the beginning, we did consider putting eyes in the headlights, but they tended to focus everything down really low. It also makes it uh, feel like your character's kind of lying on their stomach as they go through the whole movie. When you move the, the eyes up into the windshield, it tends to turn the entire car into a talking head. Uh, which is a lot better for acting and for camera framing. Since we had no bodies with which to do posing or to get any sort of gesture out of, we thought a lot of expression was going to be relayed through the eyebrows. We did lots of articulation and manipulation of eyebrows, but it turns out that the eyelids were actually even more effective. So that's how we ended up with that sort of presentation. Now we're going to talk about taking Cars 1 McQueen and adjusting him to Cars 2 McQueen. This is actual timeline, so within three minutes he had developed a new paint job for McQueen that John liked so much that this was the drawing that they applied to McQueen. And this is a few slides just showing how we took the bear car and started to figure out how to implement that new paint design. And there he is with his new paint job. Wish me luck. You go get him, buddy. Lightning McQueen, welcome to the World Grand Prix. You guys talked a lot about animating the cars. Can you talk a little bit more about animating the other things that are in the movie, like planes and cranes and, and ships? How do you decide how to draw the face and maybe do a demonstration on the board? You've got a, a jet now with a pointy front to it that comes back like this, and his windshield wraps around like this, and then his mouth is going to be on the underside of the plane. So, you know, we had, we had to figure out, okay, when this when, he, when the jaw opens, is it the thing where the jaw is going to come out like this, and he's going to it's going to open like that, so you can see it move? Um, what we wound up doing was instead just you know having it be part of this here, slightly coming down to show a little give, but more dropping that way when he's talking. Uh, my name's Jay Ward. I'm the Cars franchise guardian. And my job is basically automotive authenticity for the film Cars 2. Okay. Can you give us a little bit uh, of trivia in the film that nobody knows about? <laughs> <laughs> One of the interesting things is Mater goes into a bathroom in Japan. Right. There's a little character that comes up on the screen and she talks to him in Japanese oh, about yeah. how to use the toilet. And her name is Chuki. <gasps> That voice and that car is the same pink car that was in the first cars that was the Japanese television announcer when they say, where's McQueen? He's missing. Oh. Sorry, ladies. What are some of the funniest questions that uh, children have asked you about your job? Well, they'll ask me questions about, like, what is, what's like your Woody, mm -hmm. the Lightning Queen, what do they like? Are they nice? <laughs> you know, things That's like cute. that, because they, they think they're real. Right. Could you give us, like, a bit of trivia about the movie? that we don't know that's interesting. I have a wonderful wife named Nancy. One time we were in Paris, and on the directions it had us walk across this beautiful walking bridge called the Pont des Arts Bridge. Stop halfway across the bridge, turn, and kiss. And it's the most romantic single spot in the world, I believe. And so in Cars 2, there is a scene where Mater crosses the Pont des Arts Bridge, and there's two cars, right in the middle of kissing, oh. right? And that's that's uh, represents me and Nancy. So that's a little piece of trivia <laughs> that not, okay. no one's gonna know. That's cool, all right. I'm gonna be like, you know, watching the movie and announcing it really loud, like a smart yeah. ass. <laughs> so my name is Audrey Wong. I'm a character um, trigger at Pixar. You are originally from Singapore, right? Yes. Okay, what, what do you think is the most fun part of your job? Um, just getting a new design and you know going putting it through the motions you know we have like a great team of designers and it's fun to see you know something that you see from the street you know actually like materialize in front of you what do you miss about singapore that you can't get in san francisco the, food, the fact that you can walk down the street and you get like you know, malay indonesian chinese and all yeah it's quite different here I am the producer of Cars 2. Um, I've worked at Pixar for almost five years. We have probably over 300 people that ultimately work on our film. So it's my job to make sure that they get everything they need to, to do the best job they can. What is your favorite scene in the movie? Can you describe working on that? I love the opening the of the film. The spy sequel. It's totally unexpected. You're out in the ocean 
which is not where you would ever imagine mm -hmm. a car to be. I think it looks really incredible. The question is, why? I'm looking for a car. Welcome everyone to the Pixar Archives presentation. Meg and I are here uh, to represent the Pixar Living Archives. We're a department at Pixar that collects the original art from the art and story departments. We uh, also collect the production files for those departments that help show the context in which that artwork was created. We have scripts, we have awards, we have a small Pixar history collection. And we call ourselves the Pixar Living Archives because we uh, bring that art back on a daily basis to people at Pixar who need it for their work or inspiration. So we thought we'd show you some of the original artwork from the first Cars film. This is artwork drawn by Bob Polly, who is the production designer on the original Cars film. Now for every character, environment, or prop, each of those elements goes through a design process. Many drawings are created, and the, the final product of the art department for all of those elements is a set of drawings called the model packet. And the model packet has all kinds of drawings in it that explain what the character looks like, and in this case, what the character's personality is like, and what they look like when they're conveying certain emotions, because where this information is going is to the technical artists who are creating the digital model. Cars 2. You know I know some karate. Oh, you've got to be joking. I am to be praised for filming this with a nice background, with sunlight, okay? And like, it looks like somebody's filming me, but it's not because the camp call this balance on a cup. Somebody use cup. Oh, that's funny, Roger. So my day at Pixar has officially ended and I just finished all my interviews uh, with the people who are do in charge of cast 2 and it's been a really fun day. I enjoyed talking to them and finding out how they did the movie and found out lots of trivia so I can be a know-it-all when I go and watch it with my friends. It's gonna be cool. I might have switched into an American accent, like a fake disgusting American accent when I was talking to some of the people. Okay, this is not my fault because I just, I can't help but switch into that when talking to Americans because if I speak like la la le, they don't understand me and then like I don't know, I know, it sounds very terribly pretentious, so I'm sorry if it disgusts you. Okay, I have got myself a poster da -da -da -da, that's signed by uh, John the Setter. So I is going to frame this up at home. And so it says to infinity and beyond. Da -da! Very nice, right? So this trip has been really fun. I enjoyed myself and I stayed four whole days in San Francisco, which is like a little bit too long for my severe homesickness, but I, I did a lot of shopping. And yeah, I'm looking forward to going back home to Singapore and watching the completed cast too with everybody else. So that will be fun. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>